What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and I'm back with another PGA Tour 2K21 course showcase video. We're diving into a brand new course today, Guiding Light GC from the legend, Rich in UFC 99. Most of you probably know him as Richard Hall, one of my favorite designers, and he has done it again. This course is just phenomenal, and this is another course from the National Treasure Design Competition. So this course, I believe, is based in Minnesota. So I've never actually been to Minnesota, so I can't tell you if this course actually is like Minnesota. Uh, so you all that are from Minnesota, let me know how familiar this is to golf courses in Minnesota. But here we are. As always, get on out there in game, play this course, leave the designers some love, and let me know how you shoot down in the comment below. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps these videos grow and helps these courses get shown to more people because that's what it's all about. We're going to be diving into the course from the white tees, pin location number one, all the default course conditions. That's going to be firm fairways and greens and fast green speeds. We're going to go ahead and dive out into the course and see if we can score well. But Richard, thank you for all your hard work. I appreciate all your hard work in designing. This course is just phenomenal. And to all you other designers out there, you all are all legends. Thanks for all you do each and every day for this community. I know I can't showcase them all, but I try to showcase as many as I can here on YouTube and in live streams. Twitch link at the bottom of the description. So here we go. We get to the first team. What a view we have here. Now Richard does always does such a great job of crafting the environments. And also the golf is always really strategic and just really realistic golf. I always love it. Richard does a great job. Uh, but here we go. First tee. Beautiful view here to start the round here on hole number one. But I'm going to go ahead and fly up. Now, this this course does have the Gamer Ability Squirrel Easter Egg. And, uh, you know, you all... Let me know if you all find the Gamer Ability Squirrel Easter Egg. So, you'll see it throughout there. Uh, but it, Richard Hall always comes through and puts the squirrels. Gets the Gamer Ability Squirrel Easter Egg stamp of approval. But I, I when we get there... I just gotta remember to show you all this, the Easter egg, right? We just got, I just gotta remember, sometimes I forget, but a beautiful plot of land here. I love seeing it from the top. And then I wanna zoom in so you can see one of my favorite parts of the course here as we get down here. I love how this river, so we have the waterfall there at the top that's running all the way down. This part of the course is just beautiful. The way that Richard did this tree line right here, when you see it from this tee shot, from back there it is just gorgeous and we will i'll show that right now just so y'all can see it but this view right here as we get to the fairway so not from the t this view right here is actually one of my favorites you're gonna have a lot of pretty views here the water is in play on some uh, so just be ready for that but very nicely done so what do y'all think does this look like minnesota those of you that are from minnesota or lived in minnesota uh i know narwhal is from minnesota so maybe narwhal can speak to this but there you have it. Beautiful course. Guiding light. GC, let's see if we can put one in the fairway. And I'm still using the PS5 controller. I mean, not PS5. I'm still using the Xbox controller. I know in the past few showcases, I switched. So we'll see if it's continuing to pay off. And I actually think I need to go in. Because I believe... Put one right in the fairway there. But I believe that I actually... Have true sim turned on because I was playing a true sim round. Yeah, let's make sure we turn the true sim settings off. <laughs> shot here, on first. here we go. Par oh, we can start with the par five, one of my favorite ways to start out as well. We we're left with 257 here. I'm actually going to go with the three wood and full send this one, maybe make it. I should have dedicated that one to Richard. That one's going to be beautiful. It should kick right. Go in. Come on, Albatross. Oh, it starts rolling back left. I'm still going to dedicate this e eagle to Richard. We're going to make this putt. Oh, it just keeps rolling. That's unfortunate. I love the color aesthetics right, here. The green. textures used. The trees. That kind of autumn fantastic. feel to it. It, it really go. has a nice just look. this in the hole. Get this a lot of ghost break eagle. here. I'm gonna say it's left to right slightly. But I am gonna dedicate this eagle to Richard. This is for you, Richard. Get there. No. Oh, it just died. 
Oh, wow. Could have These Koreans are a little slower than I thought. I want to say it said fast, right. but that was not fast. Next. But that's a dedicated birdie here on hole number one to Richard. We'll one take that. Under after that one. Now our first missed, missed uh, eagle. We have uh, some rough bunkers here in the fairway. I love the way this is framed. You talk about a true sim perspective. You can really see the elevation changers, the bunker sculpting, and these elevation changes are just perfect. Love the view here. Oh, just these National Treasure designers do such a good job with framing. Framing, sculpting is always top notch, this which, you know, like it has play. to be for these competitions, right? Because that's what these judges are looking for. They're looking for perfection on all the different categories. And you see the perfection. Now, you, you all have probably already seen it Second in just a few showcases I've done of these National Treasure courses here on YouTube. Oh, I fasted that one. But, so 105 fast. Fly down the hill. Yeah, it's going to stay up. Not There's a terrible a miss hit. Some more ghost break. To me, it looks right to left. And some of you are probably wondering, some of you might not know what ghost break means, what I'm referring and to. Yes, that one was, it broke a little bit right to left, but basically straight. It's when, it happens a lot on PC and Already xbox it, ps5 it doesn't happen yeah. but on pc and xbox right, the, sometimes on the green right when you're there. putting the grid lines aren't actually moving it's not showing any break but there actually is break there so and for whatever reason on ps5 this the, it has more it, it picks up more of the subtle breaks for so i don't know what it is about it a little bit on the slow side how got the 102 here on this par three I'll take that. Not a bad shot. We're left 17 yeah, feet downhill, foot. two inches. Put on this one. Go in. Go in. Oh, yeah, just a touch too much on the power. Just yeah, a just little bit of an overswing. Took some of the breakout. That's unfortunate. That's but we still sent the par well back in. This one. I really wanted that birdie. That would have been three birdies to start the day. Still a hot start. Two All under right, through three. Still Two under. What a view here. There's so many great views. 399 par yard par four with the dog leg left. Just going to send it up to the fairway. It felt fast, and it was. Yeah, it definitely felt fast. I feel like I just flicked it forward. I, I need coffee. That's what it is. I need more coffee. Let's get some coffee. Whatever your beverage of choice is, Looking at an elevated green on the enjoy, enjoy your beverage of choice. Mine is usually coffee during these videos. Let's see, 116 uphill, 33 feet. Be the club, be the club. I underswung just a touch. Got the perfect tempo we needed. Yeah, if I hit 95%, we're, we're dead on it. Good job, we're on the green. Tough putt here, left with the 15 footer. Slightly downhill, a lot of break. And let's see, orange at the beginning, then yellow, green. The tough putt. Get in. Get in. Let's go. What a putt. That was not easy. So it broke a lot at the beginning. But it was the it's the hardest part of those putts is reading what it's gonna do middle to end. And actually picked it right there. Long par three here. Look at that green. That green is nuts. <laughs> oh my. 215. I really like it though because you have this pin location and you probably have another one here and one down here and another one over here. 215. Down here. Okay, let's send it. This would be my question to designers out there. When you all design these, when you design the greens, so you already probably have a lot of your elevation framed out. So do you do you use the way the green ended up with your framing and just pick pin locations from there? Or do you craft a unique a unique do you craft the green for the pin locations or do you pick pin locations based on what the land you created gave you? That would be my question. And my guess it's probably a combination of both. That's a confusing Just way to ask way. it. <laughs> if you all understand what I'm saying, uh, you can answer that question, designers out there. If you don't want to understand what I'm saying, I completely understand that.
Because I barely understand what the There's way I described that, so... <laughs> Let's send this in. So it came off to the right a little bit more than I was okay, expecting at the thoughts. beginning. Don's right. right, positive thoughts, save par, and we did. Yeah, that'll, that'll do Let's get some coffee nice. and be on our way. Four holes remaining, we got a par five and then three, three par fours the to finish the front. A Best beautiful golf hole. Five. 526 yards, uphill 33 feet. Split fairway by the bunkers there. Just a stunning course. Richard killed it. Absolutely killed it, like he always does, but wow. What a blast there. Come on, go 320. Yes, it does. 323 on. yards on that yeah, one. We're setting up here about 210 or so. So we're left pin. with 209 uphill 47. I'm actually going to do an overpowered 215. No, got to do a little bit more because the uphill lie. So going up to the partial three, what dangerous shot to hit. Could be slightly. I did not do a partial blood. three wood. <laughs> I did a full sin three wood. That's unfortunate, but it's still going to be on the green. Not going to complain. We're left with an eagle putt here. Just kept Good going. Okay, here's the eagle chance. The round, 54 this. footer down here, one foot. Ryan's hit plenty of these in his career, but can he do it today? One time. Yeah, these greens are a lot slower than I expected, but I, I did hit that really soft. It no, just that end up did short. not go. Eight Steady, to left a foot here on this eight-footer. Left so a foot? So I meant left to right. Uh, rolled right by. <laughs> oh, That's unfortunate. That is, you, you, got, you have Three to birdie that one, right? That's on the tomorrow. list. is one, Probably the easiest birdie hole we face so far. And just overswung on that three-wood. Right three under par. Now we go to my favorite right, type of nice hole in golf. Okay, this now this is how you design a drivable part four, right? You give danger, you give opportunity, but you give danger. Look what Richard did here. Look at the backdrop. If you send this one, <laughs> uh, I want to show you off. We can actually get this there. So for the showcase, we are going for this 100%. Right? Richard gave us a nice backboard. Let's see if Ryan can pull it off. There's the partial driver. That is a Going beautiful golf shot. Go in the hole. Come on. Bounce left. Oh, yeah. What a what a golf design. That is just beautiful. Drivable par 4 perfection, which is my favorite type of hole in golf. Drivable par 3. Look at this. <laughs> drivable par 3. Green. I mean, aceable Not par 3 and drivable par 4. I'm proud of you. John's and proud of us. Bird with big wings. Bird with big, wing, big wings here, but this is tough. 16 feet, downhill one inch. It starts as left, right to left green and then changes to yellow. A lot of movement on this one. But we can send this in. Come on, Ryan. Well, the Just the not line. enough on it. Unlucky. Either got to hit it firmer or aim more to the oh, right. Good the effort bird. for Eagle. Got to send in Let's the birdie here going. to move That's to 400 par. Of the day. Good work out there. Good effort. Bringing things down to four. Right, two hoes left. One. Couple of par fours to finish out. We got a long par four for this one. It's going with the partial driver. I actually did not Hopefully want to send it up and have that the, uh, dead fairway. tree there to the left in play. So I took some off, but I think that tree is going to be in play anyways. This is a really cool golf hole. Quite the elevated green here. Now that dead tree is just mean place. though, Richard. I guess it's better than putting a live tree there, right? Because <laughs> a live tree would be very dangerous. But look how mean that the tree is. Because we're probably going to hit it. No, trust the designer. The, Richard would never put a tree there that Ryan can't get through. So we're going to go for this. Told you. Trust Richard. <laughs> it would have been hilarious if we hit that tree, right? <laughs> Oh, hmm, a little off on we that sent approach, that one. Yeah, a little okay. off, but that's okay. We can chip this one in. Very chippable here. Lob wedge chip down the hill. Oh. No. And from the rough at that. Richard Very forgot nice to play. put in the forgivable well pins on that one. Wow, it just bounced off. It was going very snappy, right? 
One of my favorite yeah, views on the, the course is actually now. right here. I love the way this looks. See the clubhouse in the background. I love this view. You see the tree line. Just a fantastic view. There's a lot of good views on this course here. I don't know, I don't know which one I'm going to use as the YouTube thumbnail. It usually takes me a long time. This is kind of a drivable par 4. We're going for this one. Oh, you can't hit it much better than that. The only thing better would be a 105. Oh, be the club. Be the club. Funnel right. That is just perfection. I wish I would have dedicated that shot, right? <laughs> of course I don't dedicate those. I save the ones that I push out into the water as my normal dedications in those situations. This green. Fantastic work. Left Putting with the 39-foot... Putt this here for eagle. for eagle. It's our third eagle putt of the day. Maybe four. What a course. This is just awesome. Very nicely done on this one. Come on. Cut. Cut. Go ball. No, I just didn't hit it hard enough. What a putt, oh, though. That could have been... That could have been amazing. John's right, but at the end of the day, it's a tap-in birdie. We're not going to complain. Five under right, now you are as we make the left. turn here to the back nine. Right, start out now with the par five. I love this. Richard gave us a par five to start, and then another par five to start the back. 400, 519 yards, downhill 41. Dog leg right. Beautiful swing. 103, dead straight, perfect. You only see me hit a dead straight on a Xbox controller. Not on that PS5. You <laughs> you all were on the edge of your seat like, oh, what's Ryan going to do with this swing plane? Wonder what's going to happen. Well below this is the view I was talking about at the beginning. I love this little ravine here. The way that the way that Richard planted this is just awesome. I love the way this looks with the creek in the background. It's actually one of my favorite views on the course. So this is another one of my favorite views. I'm going to I'm going to screen clip this one. We, I may use this as the thumbnail. We'll see. Send it. Oh, be the one. Beautiful partial shot. Go in the hole. Come on. Oh, what a golf shot. We've we've been all over these par fives and drivable par fours. Keep rolling back. Come on. Is this gonna be another? Oh, keep on going. Let's go. Shot there. Our best look for Eagle so far. To to seven under. Ryan Gamer is left with 12 feet. Downhill three inches here for Eagle. What an opportunity. We're going to send this in. Come on. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's, that's tough. Just a little three footer left. We'll take our one. birdie. That that is that's we gotta going. make that's that, right? We'll take it. Back to back three. birdies. We just can't buy an eagle this round. We have eight holes remaining. I want one on eagle this 11th. round. Or an ace right here. We have a tough par three here. Look at this tucked pin location. Gave us a little bit of a slight backboard. Not a lot. This is a very tough golf hole. 169 yards, downhill 19 inches feet. I mean, I'm gonna actually go with the 161. A little bit of loft and see if we can get this. Beautiful. So fast. It was slight fast. As long as we still hit this hill. Oh, this is going to be great. Come down the backboard. Come on. I put a lot of backspin on that ball. Keep on coming. Go in the hole. Go in. <laughs> a little more backspin. I think and we had the line to go in. Play. Thank you very much. Tough pin location, right, but the way that was sculpted was just to perfection, right? What a golf hole. And that that is so cool. For birdie number seven today. Three birdies in a row. I feel like we played that hole exactly that how the designer envisioned it. I always love when I can actually do that in a showcase. <laughs> 407 yards uphill, 85 feet. Love the elevation changes on this hill. Good amount of downhill, uphill. To really keep you on your toes, right? That's what it's all about. Let's Keeping the designer to on their toes. Giving us options on the fairways, which Richard has done. But, done, but keeping us on our toes. And giving us a 
fun round of golf, right? It's, it's sometimes it's hard to do around, both, right? 110 yards to the pin. It's hard to make it hard and make it fun, right? That's a Let's See if we can send this. 102. Oh, it's way too much. Possible. I uh did a D loft on that one. Could get lucky and have it come back. Please get lucky. Come on, ball. Yes. <laughs> Oh, missed, miss hit it on the overswing, but got lucky with the backboard. Five, five foot putt here man. for birdie. Not much movement. A little bit right to left. Let's send this one in for birdie. Birdie's everywhere. What a day on the birdie course the here. Great work. In Minnesota, is Ryan Gamers is Minnesota Ryan yeah, Gamers home away from home? Never been to Minnesota, but All right, put this one up wow, this makes way. me want to go. Really nice swing. A little bit on the fast side. John says, really nice swing. I'm worried about that this might find the rough. Light roughs, please. Ooh, it stayed. Thank you, game. Yeah, just in the light rough at the moment. 153 yards. I love this view. This is another view. I know I say this, that a lot, but I love this backdrop view right here. Especially when you get to the... Looking at it from this green. I know we already played that hole, but... I believe that was the par three we played, but yeah, just a really cool car part of the course. So 90, 95% lie, 153 yards, downhill 22 feet. Actually really like the club we have. You do not want to go far. Look at that back slope behind the hole, short than far. Let's send this wind changed a little bit. That's a big, that's a big change. Swing felt great and it was got Got a little bit, 99%, which is actually what I was going for. This is going to be a great. I was actually going for 98, but 99 is not bad. A little wayward on the approach. That's all right, though. Very chip inable for here for a little Third birdie shot. opportunity. Oh, just not getting the right okay, bounces John, today. That one up. was to put too much right, snap on that one. Bounces. One hops out, right? Into the pin and out. We have five holes remaining. Okay. Three par uh, fours, a par three, and a par five. Under for the Ooh, look how beautiful this golf hole is. Okay. We have the we got a freak a in between. Dangerous. This tee shot shapes up. But we're going to send it. Let's see, right or left? What's the better play here? Let's find out. Right's the better play. Okay. Getting risky. I'm going to show you all. I'm going to show you all that we can hit this. slide on the slow side i technically only said i'm going to show you all we can hit this that doesn't mean the fairway even though we did hit the fairway what a bounce on that one, one. <laughs> this one's about 174 uphill 37 feet a lot of elevation changes so so if you struggle with elevation changes this is a great course to play in practice i'm gonna overpower this one Ooh, yeah, I felt that one. Sometimes when you overpower it, you just go with the full sin. What a beautiful waterfall there in the background. We just wanted a better view of the waterfall. That's that's definitely the reason I full sent that one. Well, <laughs> I just wanted to be able one. to walk around the green, you Sending know, take a look at the waterfall in the background, shot. take a look at this view. Like, that's what Ryan, that's the reason Ryan did that 100%. And I'm taking this screenshot. This might be the YouTube thumbnail, actually. I'm going to actually go for the splash. I'm going to slight partial this one. Go in. Ooh. Too much. And Too much. Nice, not a bad shot. On this one. A little six foot right to left birdie action here. And tracking. Ryan sends it in. It's going to be a par. I almost said birdie. I almost said birdie. Good thing I didn't. But wow, yeah, I want some more birdies. Eight under for this round. Bit a great round. Beautiful par goes. three here. 163 yards downhill, 29 feet. I love the way those bunkers, the bunkers view, but also I like the sculpting here. It gave us a little bank. We can go for a bank shot, but I, I kind of want to hit right into this upslope. So I'm going to go down to the 151, a little bit of backspin, and send it. Now that swing felt great. That swing felt beautiful. Underswung just a touch. Get a good bounce, though. Yeah, I, I put backspin on that. It's coming back. Needed a 96, 97. Might have been in the hole. Approach there. Thank you right, for not rolling all the way down, ball. 18-footer here. Uphill one foot, approximately. We don't know the exact, but wow, it has a lot of right-to-left movement. Bench, 
Been short every single time of these. Gonna try to hit this a bit firmer. Oh, this one and we finally made one. Oh, oh, Huge birdie putt. Three hoes remaining, sitting at minus three on the beautiful sitting guiding light. Under for the round. GC yeah, from team, Richard Hall. I'm going to send this one. Oh, look at this beautiful. How many times do I say? I, I tell you, when I showcase these courses, you all just do such a great job of crafting beautiful courses. You make me say beautiful like a billion times, right? Like, I probably said beautiful 40 times so far probably more than that actually we're gonna send this one i don't think we can make it to the green but we can send it as much as we can well, i know we can't make it to the green what a golf shot if only i could just do that every time right the game would be so much easier but then again every game would be so much easier if we were perfect every time right what a drive. 349 yards. Here's our second shot on the 16th. Going for the 30 splash. A little bit of stopping action to make sure it catches up here. I'm going to dedicate this to Richard. I think I have one more shot dedication, maybe two. This is for you, Richard. What a shot. Love that. Waterfall. I, how did how was this designed? Right, I don't this, think this is this is definitely not a preset. Richard a crafted this. How in the world do you craft that? That is just awesome. These design. Nice. Pot. These designers like are artists. Like they they are artists. In it's insane. Oh, back to back birdies here. Moving to ten under. With a par 4 and par 5 to finish this great course. Up now Richard does, out does himself every single time. 427 yard par 4 up the hill 34 feet. Felt the slow that one. I got a, for some reason I got a little bit nervous on that shot. I don't know why. I don't know why I was nervous but I felt nervous on that one. <laughs> you hate to see it. We just got to get over bunker. this lip. And Not send sure it up into the fairway. Here. No need to get fancy on that one. And then got to okay, play for par, right? Good job. I mean, we could technically this birdie this one. Shot. Oh, there's the swing for a birdie. Can we get a kick left? Just got to get lucky on the bounce. Oh, too much to the right. Should have aimed a bit more to the left. That'll play pin high for us. It's a tough par okay. save here. 13 feet to 13 the hole. feet downhill three inches steady right to left yellow break it looks like yellow to green it's gonna be interesting a lot of movement here Let's I mean just perfectly red we got to thank the caddy for that one and who's your caddy well that would be me six penny <laughs> you know Ryan gamers the virtual golfer I'm the caddy so I mean I guess I take the credit for that one thank you everybody Thank you for the credit. <laughs> what a great hole to finish with. 515 yard, downhill 96, par 5. What a course. Very nicely done, Richard. 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, 100 out of 10. I mean, just great incredible. Swing that one. Great swing, John says. Do we make it to where we can send this one in for Albatross? I don't can't remember. I might have done three shot dedications already, but I want to dedicate this albatross to Richard. Do you all imagine if we actually do it? This would go down in history as one of the greatest gamer ability videos of all time if we can actually send this in. Set up from the elevated. So let's see, 193 downhill, 37 feet. All right, we have a backboard. This is for you, Richard. This is for you, for these incredible courses. Wind is blowing, it's shifting. Oh no. The course is coming alive, it's playing against us. Great swing, can't hit it much better than that. It was not a hole out for Albatross, but still the rest of the shots count as the dedication as well. There you go, this is- So, this is can we get this for eagle, eagle for Richard? To finish out, 12 under par, on Guiding Light. Let's let, let the light glide, guide us. Okay. We're going to let the light guide us. Uh, don't... <laughs> let's see. So that means I need to close my eyes. And th no, that wouldn't be... That would be the opposite. I don't know. Let's see. 
Aim at the sun? I don't see the sun. Okay, we're just gonna let our caddy decide. Looking super. And we came up short. That is frustrating. Ooh. We'll take birdie. 11 under for the round. Get on out there. Play this course. Let me know how you do. Do you all beat 11 under? What a round. 6 under on the back. 5 under on the front. 11 under. Let's see how he did in fairways and green percentage here. 85 fairways. You love to see it. 72% gers. Now that has to be better. It's, it seems like for Ryan, whenever he hits more fairways, the more greens he misses, right? <laughs> when he misses a lot of fairways, he hits tons of greens. That's so weird. But thank you so much for watching this video to the end. What an incredible course. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want a full list of all the courses, check out the playlist in the description. You can find all my course showcases in that playlist. And I will see you all in the next one. New videos every single day on the Gamer Booty YouTube channel. Plenty of new games coming out here in the future. So be ready for videos on those games. But I appreciate you all. As always, have a fantastic day.